hey guys now today we are going to discuss about one of the important topic okay that is for service object okay like earlier what two things we done we done with the pods we deploy the pods and then we deploy the replica sets and then we are going to deploy the service now okay when we go for pods when you go for replica sets when you go for service object now let's say take a uh, first call on this then we'll go for hands on okay just uh, what we do now is a pod is a pod is nothing but it's a like as it's a one container maybe group of containers dependency containers will run in the single pod that running now for example the same set of application you want to the 10 times what you do that 10 parts we won't write right we we we've written the replica sets in the we mentioned that i want to create a 10 replicas then it will get the 10 pods okay this replica sets and pods are the loose coupling we have seen yesterday right now what you do you want to access outside of this pods this application what we do we are going to use the service object for that okay because of why we are required this service object means now the pod is that ip what are the assign that qb proxy will assign to the ip to the who these pods right that for example if something the container will be goes down something goes down it will create new container but it will come the new ip right now the pods will can't communicate with the one to each other with the different different times right now we can't dynamically assign the ips and that ips won't be communicate okay now what we do we create the one service object that service object we integrate with that replicates like as what is the replica set we are going to use label and how we both are communicating means we are going to use this is the main thing is the label selector okay this is the topic is a label selector based on the, like a service object what the say label selector we are going to use the same label sec selector we are going to use the replica set okay clear that we are going to see today now okay now let's uh shall we done with the uh, last class let's create that our dashboard first okay that dashboard is available in the way we have in the qb system and dashboard service right now let's take it out that we already set up this everything okay just i'm going to show you the like as get that dashboard okay under this namespace we have set up how we deploy the Kubernetes dashboard now let's access this now this is one which is the port we need to access this now la it was cluster ip we change to the node ip okay node port then if you want to access outside of the world this application should be have the node port okay then 30351 we need to access right now Let's go to the our master node. Okay. HTTP yes, colon, and then. What is the port? 30351. 30, 30351. 30, okay, let's advanced. Not now. Yes. Accept and risk new because of my Chrome is uh, not allowed this uh, unsecure websites. That's why I open in the profile box here. Okay. Now let's take a token. This token we need to get it the, from the secret uh, service. Okay, now I have a command to get that token also. Okay. From, this is the command I'm getting the only single token. Okay, you can use this is also okay the same thing. But it will be the exactly only one token. 
for particular namespace, whatever we log in that right, QB system namespace. Now let's go here, run this. Now we got the token. Just only one time execute and keep it this one. And uh, whenever you log in, right, use this. No need to do it every time. Okay. If you are saving this token, that's fine. That's great. Okay. If you don't ask next time, okay. Now, these are the things. What are the things we done yesterday? We replica set we deployed. Okay. This is we de deployed for the 10 uh, replica set we done. And then we, de we deployed the pods also. Now, what we do today? We are going to use the any label selector and put the uh, replica set and we are going to deploy now. Okay. Now, let's see what are the replica set we are going to deploy. How to get it? QBCTL get replica sets. What are the replica sets we have? This is the WebRS, right? Now this web WebRS we have, but we have the different, like as two WebRS are there, but there is a different label selector is there. That one we deleted and we one we created, right? But we deployed in the different, with the different label selector. If you want, you can select with the get pods and see the iPhone iPhone show iPhone labels now it show the all the labels also okay now which is the one trending now this is the one this is the one we used for the yesterday and earlier we created the hello world and hello worlds one label we created right that label okay now see that which is the part which is the replica set we used to deploy yesterday yeah my is something right yeah now this one this replica set and this is the our labels can be used earlier we deployed two times and we used for uh, loose coupling purpose we remove the replica set and then we add the replica set again that te testing purpose we use right now think if I use the hello walls in this now the five contents will be added to the our service object okay let's go and create the service object now okay now I'm going to create a service object let's go service object now let's uh, take our lab notes With the complete lab notes for this okay all service objects let's we already done these things replica sets done right now this is a replica set we discussed right what replica set having the number of ports inside that okay and this is the way we specify the replica sets that we discussed and then this is a replica set example okay and we're done this this is loose coupling we done right again repeater said this is what we done and we deploy this is this current state the yaml file output and uh, json output we can get it this is done now this is state current state we checked okay we remove this replica set okay using the cascade option and then we delete the replica set and we add it and we deploy it again, right? Now this we are going to discuss about the scaling replica sets that if that even though the scaling also we done. Now Kubernetes services, right? What is that like accessing the pods inside the cluster outside of the cluster? This is using service object. We are going to do this basically outside the cluster. Pods are unreliable. Why? The pods will be up and running. Like if something pod will come new, that will be with new IP will be assigned for that. That's why we are saying that pod IPs are unreliable. Okay. This is the thing, these three things will take care of that. First, we need to clear up something terminal, like as this is terminology, pod and replica set deployment Kubernetes service. These are the four services we are going to use mainly in the Kubernetes. Okay. And uh, this is what we do. We create the manifest, we apply, we post into the API server. Then what we do? Second, we need to know the every service gets to the stable IP and DNS name to access the outside of the world. And third thing is, we need to know the service uses the label dynamically associated with the pods. That's what we discuss about the label selector. Okay, that's three things we should be take care of before going to be deploy application. Now, if you want to like as what I'm doing this pods based application deployed via replica set, it shows the client could not be component the app that doesn't have the any reliable network because of this endpoint, because of the pods will be coming and going, right? We don't have a reliable network. If you want to make it reliable IP, what we do here, we are going to deploy to the service object. How? Look like, like this. We deploy the service object. We call the service object. This service object based on the IP address and then label selector will be added to the 
the service object and this will be accessed through this service IP. Okay, how and now let's see now. Okay, this label are loose coupling anyway. Like as we are going to select the service object, that what is the zone pod on version one, right? It is going for the what are the these labels are both matched in the pod, it will be added to the this service object. But labels should be matched, or else don't add. Okay, remember, take care now. This is what I am showing. Okay. Let's see. Now, if I deploy this, this is our service object I am going to create. Now, let's take an input of this. Let's create now. BI. I am going to do the SVC. Not anything. This name is anything for your best. Just service purpose. I am going to do SVC. Now, see here. This label, right? If you add here, yes, that five pod will be adding in this service object. Okay. This label selectors means what you're playing. This is a object will be added to the, the service object. Okay. Clear. Then this labels. Okay. This label and that label we should be matched. Okay. These two labels. Okay. Now let's go and apply. Got it right? This remember this node code we can access outside of the world. Okay, and this is the like as which application is accessing this. What are the we are going to deploy application? That application whatever we have that uh, we deployed in the pod right? That we can access the port number is internal using the H zero node port is the triple like as thirty thousand one. Okay, clear? This is my name of metadata of my service object related, and this label will be this is the labels of match with this our selector labels. Okay, just save this. Okay, then next, what we do? How we are going to apply this? QBCTL. I'll show that one more time if you want. Okay, and how that is command? QBCTL apply iPhone F of SVC apply or create anything you can use. Okay, now the service object is created. Okay, let's how to get this service object? QBCTL you get. Even service also can give full name or else we can give the shortcut also SVC. Okay. Now here this earlier we have the given this we install that time this is a service object. Now this is our hello service node port is running on the this one. Okay. And if you want to describe this, what you do? What is the command? QB CTL. Okay. Describe SVC of hello service, right? Then, okay, spell mistake. One second. Okay, this is the one. This is complete information about you that our application. Now, see, this is how actually this static IP is uh, giving for that all. This is a node port and this is access outside of the port. And what is the endpoint of this? Okay, these are the what this we have the all the nodes, right? This is what all the five containers, whatever we have. Their IP is it's added into the our service object. But it, what is this endpoint mean? This is a pod IPs. This is our pod IPs. If you want, you can go check the like as QBCTL get pods. Okay, that get pods and then this describe. Then there we can see that every pod IP address. Okay, clear now. This is the static IP for them. Okay, we need to access this right now. Let's uh, go and access. The service object and remember one thing if you want to access the service object you should be allow the port of 6783 UDP port inside the our security group 6783 I think I have already ad added when we were installing that uh, let's see here launch object in London 6783 and 6784 for UDP objects okay UDP objects I have 6784 right this one for accessing outside of the world using the UDP. let's access the application now let's go and access now anyway we have that URL here right Yes, four zero seven. Sorry. Okay. 
second. Now, see. One second, actually, I got a call from actually. Oh, wait, one second. Now, this is a port, right? That is version one. Let's access this now. Application. This is not HTTPS. HTTP of this is the zero is extra. Copy this. Access the application now. So we can access public IPs. We can access that. That's all we used basically. One second. Let me. Should work basically. This is our. Basically, we can access with this. Public IP, do in the IP address one like three zeros, right? Correct, right? Port, yeah. Let's access with this. Sorry, 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 sorry. Basically, we can access that. So, We already have another port number also, but okay, sorry. Okay, that port right three zero zero one we need to allow in this security group. Forgot. Right, let's go to add it here. Add it here in the security group. Anyway. Okay, let's add it, save it. Now, go here. This application will apply, okay? Yes, uh, this image I have taken from the uh, one of the book. Okay, that Kubernetes book. Okay, that's a great book. Just go through this. This image is this documents I have read from there only. Okay, just I'm showing that it's a very nice book. Okay, fine. Now this is the application we have taken the images. Right. Now what do we do next? Uh, next class actually. Uh, I'm going to actually I have some other come. What do we do next tomorrow? We are taking our custom image. Okay, if you have private repository or maybe you have the some other places we need to download that and we need to be deploy that okay using the deployment object okay we we'll see the deployment object tomorrow okay guys oh, one second one second